G'day, Ben from Melbourne here. What do you know? Another bloody competition. What's going on out there? The weather must be getting bad in the Northern Hemisphere. So you're all at home thinking of what to do with your time. I'm trying to pump these out so I can get outside and experience the beautiful spring weather. Mm-hmm. Yeah, MGK, I'm talking to you, making those goddamn summer videos, rubbing it in while I was freezing me ass off. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. This is for Mega Jeff's five years in the VC contest. Five! And there's a few questions. Weirdly four questions, if I've got this right, which are all based around the number five. So the first question is, show an album that was released when you were five. Hold on to your hats, everybody else read them and weep, because I think I've got this baby. This is better than anything else I've seen. Yes, Highway to Hell came out when I was five. What come out when you were five? Not some awesome shit like this. Yeah. Me and Bon. Mm. All right, next question. An album released five years ago, which would be what, 2017? Talked about this band before. We did a Shed Burner video way, way back um, of Civic. But this was a mini album, New Vietnam, on Annie Fade Records. I reckon this might have been the first uh, album I got of theirs. Might have had a 7-inch before that. Killer punk rock record. These guys bring it. Next question. A studio recorded song just over five minutes long. And I'm gonna show something new. Melbourne band, Mas <laughs> Nelly dropped the bastard. Didn't know that noise would come out of me either. Um, Masonic with their album, Assembled Interference. And the song I'm going to choose is, have I got it written down? Echoes from the Glitch, which as you can see, is five minutes and 16 seconds of dark ambient experimental abstract sounds yeah not what you'd expect with the normal punk and roll that comes out of this channel this is a seriously freaking good record just come out this year check it out masonic melbourne dudes last question show five albums from the same band and the doyen you're gonna love this because you love Warren Ellis. Here we go. The reissue of the Dirty Threes, Sad and Dangerous. What a great photo. Different to the actual original cover, but who cares? Here's some more cool photos of the boys and the back photo. So that's one. Number two, Dirty Three, Horse Stories. All these records. See it? buy it the beautiful ocean songs third record whatever you love you are fourth record another killer and lastly she has no strings apollo love all that mick turner artwork too he was a guitarist for the dirty three all right dudes have a crack support mega jeff Five years, I can't get my head around that. What am I gonna be doing in five years? I don't know if I will have any ideas and I'll just be like, so, how you been? What's going on? Um, yeah, this morning I uh, got up, had a shower, brushed my teeth. Oh, had breakfast first, of course. Uh, caught the tram. It's running a little bit late, but I got to work on time. That's all I'll have left in five years to talk about. Jesus! See you in the next one.